Let's go across to Mr. Sanjeev Basin of IFL Securities to discuss more on that. Um, Mr. Basin, thank you so much for joining us. You've been extre uh, you know, extensively traveling India as well as abroad. Tell us what the market mood is like, what are investors talking about and when are we going to see that 18,000 mark on Nifty? Yeah, good afternoon, Anisha, to you and uh, Pankaj. In 18,000 is coming within a week. The pessimism at 16,800 was grossly oversold. We were overdone on all the all parameters. At 17,500 is the equilibrium, and only above 18,200 is the start of a bull market. And make no you know mistakes. We are going to new highs in May. I think from my travels, what I noted, people are ready to put their money where their mouth is. The pessimism is maximum in the metros, the large metros in India and in on the TV channels. Aside from that, only bullishness and people who want to commit to SIPs and make equity as an asset class. That is why, Anisha, you saw 14 and a half thousand come in the month of March and in a difficult month. So I have no two ways that India is going to outperform. And I'm very, very optimistic by May, we should be closer to 18 and a half thousand. Uh, on the on the index and more than that stock specific outperformance will continue so stock specific outperformance will continue so let's discuss stocks exactly mr basin from the financials world what are your top bets we just got the numbers from icic bank and nothing much to complain right well anicha first let me tell you the outperformance who thought dlf and godrej were beaten down to pulp they'll be up 40 percent in a month if you recollect you know closer to january we had given those at two of our topics now, coming to numbers, ICICI numbers are superb. I mean, look at the gross formation, look at the lending, look at the cost of money, look at the NIMS. I think ICICI is going to five figures in the next maybe two weeks. That's, there's no question about that. And financials across the board, whether PNB, whether Bank of Baroda, State Bank, or an IDFG first, the simple reason is bond deals are lower, inflation is lower, crude is lower, and still you are in a pessimistic mood. So you cannot have it both ways. I think banks are doing extremely well with inflation under control and the RBI being on hold. There is no two ways that net interest income margins are going to rise. Okay, so net interest margins are expected to rise from here on. But Mr. Vaseen, you also just talked about how DLF, Gojish properties, etc. have been doing well. And CAPEX as a theme is something that a lot of us have been bullish about. What's the best way to play it? Is it through the likes of LNT, etc.? Is cement a better play? Both. Very good question you asked. You cannot have uh, housing prices the way they are in DLF or in where I stay in, Go in Gurgaon. The prices are up 50% in a month and DLF saw record sale. Cement prices are hitting new highs. And let me tell you, for Ultratech, which is one of the largest players and one of the biggest in our portfolio, cement costs uh, are, are at a two-month low, given that coking coal and fuel prices are low. Ultratech has 138 million ton capacity. I think price rise is just around the corner. And once you're through with the monsoon, you will see that cement consumption is at an all-time high. Ultratech, Grassin, Grassin being the holding company of, and the business in VSF, VFI is doing extremely well. And lastly, Larson and Tubro. You, where have you seen the guidance of double digit, up, uh, higher double digit by Larson? Their, uh, their order book is at an all time high. And I think CapEx stocks are going to be rule the roost for 2023 and beyond. So yes, Ultratech, Grassin, Larson and Tubro are three of our topics. And we would recommend staying with these stocks. So Ultratech, Grassim, l &T, these are your top bets uh, coming to the domestic uh, CAPEX story. But within financials, insurance was one space, Mr. Basin, which was very neglected. Uh, it was difficult to calculate. People started giving it a dis discounted value also because of what happened in the budget. But today we are seeing a big reaction coming in for HDFC Life. Would you recommend a buy there as well? Yeah. So as a disclosure, these stocks are under our coverage and we are in a buy mode in these on, on decline. HDFC life closer to 470, 480 we accumulated. For the simple reason, Anisha, the taxation on the bond funds means that the 31st December onwards, bond funds are seeing huge redemption. That money is going back into insurance and into SIPs. And in insurance, you can't have a better play than HDFC life. Plus this overhang now, which was there that the erstwhile HDFC might have to unload. In fact, the HDFC will have to up its stake. I think insurance is a no-brainer. If you do fixed deposits, Rather than that, put, a, put your money into insurance companies because we are just at the tip of the uh, iceberg as far as insurance, insuring ourselves go. And I think HDFC life, the way it has recognized their model, 
the takeover of XI to get the rural reach. This is a no-brainer. This stock can hit 750 in this year itself. What about Sterling and Wilson so, uh, Solar, Mr. Vaseem? Because you were quite positive on that as well. Do you continue to maintain your positive stance? 100%. Just don't go by one quarterly results because that's a one-off and the companies glorified that in this quarter there was one some one-offs they had to write off. Uh, they are talking of an order book of almost 8,000 crore in the coming year. They had an order book of 2,000 crore last year. Plus, as yet, the parent company orders have not come. And today you've seen uh, Reliance uh, has uh, we, uh, you know, done away with the no NCLT merger of Reliance Power uh, New Energy, which means all the earnings of uh, Reliance will now go into Reliance New Energy, which is the 40% holder in solar power in uh, SW Solar. Plus, Anisha, SW Solar is the lowest cost EPC player in the world. Third plus and the largest. It has a nil debt. It has a 18 crore equity. And if they start doing 10,000 crore in the next two years, which the management has guided, this stock is going to go double more than that. And you realize that solar PVs are going to be the theme of the day, month, year and the century. And I think that for India, uh, Sterling and Wilson can be a very big outperformer on the back of Reliance Energy picking up 40% stake and all the parent company business now being rooted. Aside from that, they have an 8,000 crore order book, which is not, which is none, which has nothing to do with the company orders as yet. Senior, you are quite positive about quite a few spaces, KPEX, financials, etc. What's the space you are bearish on? Uh, because the entire market can't have a runaway rally, right? Is it IT that you're bearish on or something which is at least an avoid at this point of time? Well, actually, uh, to make, uh, you know, a little bit more, it, uh, make it more a little bit interesting, actually, IT will lead this market. IT is now very close to very, very key technical supports, which my team tells me. And I think TCS and HCL Tech can be bellwethers which can lead this market higher. Uh, on, the, on the consumer discretionary, I would be a little cautious and take some money off ITC. That has been one of our top picks from 200 levels. Above 400, we are taking money off that. We are also booking money in lever, given that there is a little money on the monsoon. But CapEx, cement, banks, uh, you know, you can take it from there. These stocks are going to run. And, and, I, and I've given you these five names, Ultratech, Grassim, LNT, ICICI Bank and HDFC Life. You cannot but make money in the coming next month. And mark my words, we are going to 18,000 faster than you could think about. 